I made it. I survived. We lived yet another day. That was scary, but you know what? That was so much fun. <laughs> that was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. I know there weren't that many people watching and all that, but just the atmosphere with the participants, it was just something truly magical. It wasn't like if you did a bad dive, people were like judging you or if you had bad competition or bad competition or or anything like that because usually whenever you have a competition you try to qualify for something and you try to achieve something more or qualify or just personal best or whatever it might be um but this competition you <laughs> you don't get you don't get further than this. This is like the end stop. This is where the train stops. And I was on that train, you guys. Um, so even though I didn't, obviously I didn't have the best competition of my life, but I was still in the competition. I mean, I'm part of the 0.05 percentage of the world competing in the Olympics like how freaking cool is that I think it's awesome and um, you I can try and drag myself down and be like oh I had a bad competition blah, blah, blah. but okay I have, what, what is that gonna help me like what were was I trying to achieve I was trying to achieve to be happy and I felt like I did a pretty good job at doing that I was trying to look at the positives like I had good takeoffs on all my dives and they were all good it was the entries and i've been telling you guys <laughs> for so many days now that this stupid arm that's like really freaking bruised now because i've been tearing the tape off of me for three weeks straight now um yeah i was injured could i have done better if i wasn't injured probably can i go back in time no did I do everything I could? Yeah. So, I'm ecstatic. Like, I'm super happy. And none of you guys really understand how it is to be competing at such a level. Like, the stress and all the thoughts that come into your head while you're standing there on the tip of the 10 meter. And you're like, I don't really want to go. <laughs> Um, that was probably one of the hardest things to actually go. Um, and then you kind of like get blinded and like kind of forget what you're going to do in, in the air because you're like having all these different thoughts and you're trying to push that aside, but it's not as easy as that. Um, but it's easy for people to just say, you could have done this, you could have done that, but you weren't there. You didn't do that. You didn't know how it felt like. So at the moment, I did the best I could and I'm super happy. So there's no point in saying to me, oh, I know you wanted to do better or hope to do better or anything like that. Like, I didn't hope for anything. I hope to compete at the Olympics and I did. I, I achieved what I wanted to achieve and you know what? I had a great freaking time me and my dad we've we've been loving every second of being here and I love having my dad here and I'm I'm so thankful that he's my coach and one of my best friends because yeah I wouldn't be here without him or any of my family members and I really wish they were here but that's how things are right now I can't wait to come home to them and we're just gonna have a really nice time before I leave to the States again. So we got other things to look forward to. But I just wanted to tell you guys that this is where my Olympic journey ends. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed my videos. And 
that you guys have gotten to know me a little bit and to see the Olympic Village and um, everything that comes along with it. It has definitely not been an easy way for me. Um, the journey has been long and very painful, but it's been worth it. And I'm just sitting here very grateful and I'm just very happy. And yeah, I'm eager to push through and see if I can make another Olympic. Because only 50% of the Tuxin sisters were here. I was supposed to have another one sitting right here with me. Um, so I'm going to have to drag her with me next time to Paris. It is definitely... Mine and Hella's lifelong dream to be in the Olympics together, and I really do hope that that can happen only three years from now. So we'll see if that happens, and hopefully then maybe I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm all healed and I don't have any injuries because yeah, every everything can happen, and I'm excited for the future, and I hope that you guys will keep following me along my uh my journey I, I promise you guys it will be an interesting journey because anything literally anything happens in my life <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> bye guys <laughs>